Okay, year seven. So, before we um, review the learning objectives from today's lesson, I'd like everyone to stand up quietly behind their chairs. We're going to have a quick game of Caps and Jack says. Okay, so, turn to the person next to you. Talk about what were the two key words, two key pieces of, pieces of vocab from today's lesson. Go, talk about it. <laughs> Okay, three, two, one, that's quiet. Okay, so what are the two key words then? Can anyone help me out then? Yes. If statements and look up. If statements and look up. So, okay, so what we do is start off with if statements. Now, we did lots and lots of work on if statements today, didn't we? So, what was the key action, the key kind of sets of actions that we came up with to help us to remember how to structure an if statement? Can anyone remember? Think about it. We did this at the front of the class. Hands down. Okay, and they get you to do it, okay? So, if you can't remember, you weren't paying attention, or you're in trouble now. So, three, two, one, go. He was, if, they, else. Fantastic, you remember, well done. So, um, what do the chops stand for? What do the chops stand for? The equals and the if, with a bit of head swagger, I saw that, I like it, okay, look good. But what do the chops stand for? Can you remember? The stand for the commas, and it was the then and else, wasn't it? Good. So why did we use chops for commas? Think back to some of you, so when you were at primary school, we discussed this on, at the front of the class. Why do we use chops for commas? Uh, yes? Um, we did um, punctuation karate at school, so we did chops for commas, uh -huh. and that helped us to keep commas in place. So. Ah, I like it. So when you're in primary school, you use something called punctuation, punctuation karate, that was it. And full stops, I think somebody said, were punches at the end of a sentence. And you put the, the uh, teacher read out the sentence to you, and you put the commas in the right place by doing the chops, didn't you? Yeah, that was, hands up if you did that in your primary school. Yeah, so loads of you. So we're just playing like our version of it, aren't we? So that's really good, well done. And um, what was the other keyword? Remind me, I've forgotten. What was the other keyword? Look up, fantastic. So, um, where do we use the lookups today? What activity do we use it in? Can you remember? Can you remember? Think about it. What activity? It was activity two, so what was that part of? Yes? Was it the um, cipher? Yeah, it was the cipher wheel, wasn't it? So, when we were doing the encryption. So, any ideas for how we could do an action for lookups? Any ideas? Yes? Ahoy! Ahoy! Brilliant! So, you look up in the air and go, ahoy, because then it keeps it into our Captain Jack theme, doesn't it? You know, with a nautical idea. I like that. Good idea. Fantastic. So, let's have a quick go at that. So, Captain Jack says, look up. Ahoy! And Captain Jack says, if. If it was, if, then, else. Fantastic. Captain Jack says, column. Captain Jack says, row. Captain Jack says, fill down. Back. <laughs> Captain Jack says, feel right. Captain Jack says, formula. Two. Captain Jack says, relative. We are family. Captain Jack says, variable. It's a change in time to make a change. Captain Jack says, rule. Fantastic. Captain Jack says, worksheet. Captain Jack says, cell. Captain Jack says, formula. Captain Jack says divide. Captain Jack says multiply. Captain Jack says add. Captain Jack says minus. Captain Jack says equals. Captain Jack says variable. <laughs> Captain Jack says if. Equals if. Captain Jack says formula. Captain Jack says look up. Captain Jack says sit down. 